Lincoln. But uh, I'm very grateful to be here today to my K Familia Tito Raj. Thank you so much. This is this is such a lovely event. I love it. I love it so much. And of course, you Sir Paul and Ma'am Jam. Thank you. Thank you. I'm here because you first believed in me. Of course, to uh, our press who showed up. That's why we're here. And um, definitely to our gorgeous and stunning queens. Grab it. Grab it. Talaga ng reserve sa Pilipinas. So these queens are actually joining um, national and international pageants this year. So aabangan yan. Aabangan yan. So I wish you all the best of luck. And I'm gonna be there sitting down supporting you. Kung pwede na, kung pwede ng audience. Uh, okay. As for me, um, I'm here to formally introduce myself as the national director of Miss Bikini Philippines. Yeah. Oh, that's, a lot to take in. Ah, that's a lot to take in. From a beauty queen transitioning to a national director. Wow, okay. So, um, I used to be very soft-spoken actually and very reserved. I see some of the press here who were with me when I started. And, um, grab it. For me to be able to transition into a national director, for me to be able to take my voice and take it to the next level to inspire and uplift fitness, health, and holistic beauty. I'm deeply grateful for that and to Sir Paul and Ma'am Jam for believing in me. It's a big responsibility. It's a big responsibility to take in, but I am up for the challenge and yeah, I hope I will be able to bring something new to the table. It's gonna be a big treat to the pageant community, so I hope you would be there with us every step of step of the way supporting us. So thank you once again for joining us and Mabuhay! Roxy will be joined by the Radio Miss Big in the Philippines, Chelsea Van. Hello. Thank you for having me. Uh, and I'm saying Miss Philippines work now the color of high grade of pageant and virtual and so so what must I say mo na para um, finally after two years um to have na 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 like um like a pageant and Miss Philippines Earth. Well, I'm very happy. That's what we all would have wanted. But knowing Miss Philippines Earth for the past two years, they prioritized the health and the um the safety of the candidates and the staff. So um very grateful naman ako that I was still able to join the virtual one, but. Of course, we're all looking forward for it to being live, so we're very excited for that. Marami pa silang iya announce where it would be, kung um, paano, paano gagawing virtual and live at the same time. So we have to follow their official pages and tingnan abangan natin. And hopefully, we could watch together live. Kami na feel ka bang para ingit kasi diba? Kasi kanya lang ngayon, meron kang live. Pero sa inyo, kasi purely ang virtual lang. Um, what do you feel? I feel like no naman, kasi... Um, in a way, parang tinanggap ko na that I, I was really meant to be a virtual queen. And actually, super privileged yon kasi I was able to be, as cliche as it sounds, to be a light amidst the pandemic. Um, at the time, there was no other pageants um, that was pushed through with. And Miss Philippines or that was actually the last one standing talaga. So, um, happy ako na they were able to push through with that. And me being their queen, deeply grateful. I bloomed where I was planted and um, that was what's meant for me. And um, it would be nice to walk on stage, definitely. Pero ang future queens na natin ang magko-continue nun for me. Oh. I want to see them ramp for me na lang on stage. Sorry? Exposure. Exposure. Mayroon ba kung parang special, uh, parang special appearance uh, for this uh, live pageant? Ah, for me, yeah. me, if I have a special appearance? Well, I would love to if I would be invited, but if I won't have any role to play, definitely I would be there sitting alongside you sa audience. Uh, what changed after uh, Miss Philippines Earth and Miss Earth about the live pageant? Oh, it changed a lot. As I said earlier, I used to be very soft-spoken. I feel like I was still a little girl and now I'm... I'm all grown up. I found power in my voice. I am now a national director. I am now um, transitioning into other dreams that I want to pursue, and it's all because of the dream that started with Miss Philippines Earth. Um, for that one, um, can you uh, walk us through uh, what happened uh, when Sir Paul and Sir and Miss Abjak offered me um, to be a national director? What uh, happened uh, at that moment? I was very scary on the back of my mind. I was asking them, are you sure? <laughs> but um, right away, it really, 
intrigued me because I love challenges. I love I love taking on challenges, and this one is one of the biggest challenges, I guess, being able to be given the floor to lead and inspire from a beauty queen, uh, from a beauty queen transitioning into a national director. That's a big privilege, and I can't wait to take on the challenge. Well, as Sir Paul said earlier, it's definitely gonna be even better this year. We're trying to lev level up, level it up every year. And having me as a new national director, I would definitely bring something new to the table. So it's gonna be a very good treat to the pageant community. It's gonna be a lot of fun, and we're gonna have a high caliber of candidates this year. One question, Miss Bikini of Philippines. Welcome, ba dito yung mga parang plus size um, girls na uh, kasumali or yung mga parang sexy um, or fit lang talaga na. Well, definitely, we're promoting health. So for as long as you're healthy, as long as you're fit, as long as you're promoting self-love, and most importantly, holistic holistic beauty. That's internal. That means internal beauty. Also, you have to have that kind of package. So you're more than welcome. You're more than um. We're more than happy to have you. Everybody is welcome. Unless question, will you be joining any national? A natural um, pageant in the future? Um, well, definitely not. Ano pa lang 24. <laughs> kaya, kaya. May ano pa? <laughs> well, this year, definitely not. Pero I'm not closing my doors. Um, I'm actually, let's see, if I put a percentage, I'm 70% sure na I'm retiring. Pero there's still that 30% chance na um, baka pagbigyan ko yung fans ko in the future, we'll see. Whatever's meant to be, will be. I always look for signs. Um, I always look for signs. And kung saan man ako dali ni Lord, I, I know that's where I'm going to be meant to be. Yes, kasi di ba par maraming parang clamor. Yeah. About you, I'm joining. Um, yes, I'm joining a national anthology. So, um, are you into uh, Miss Universe? Are you doing uh, um, um, or Miss World, ano yung... I was actually eyeing for, I'm saying this for the first time, yes. Binibining Filipinas. Ah, okay. For the international crowd. International crowd, wow. Um, soon, di ba? Why yeah. not? Maybe, why not? We'll Nine see. Nine si Chelsea. Nine yeah. <laughs> si Chelsea. Um, baka si Chelsea muna. We'll see. <laughs> usually, usually, um, yung pageant, ano ba, duration ng mga Yes, yeah, one yeah. month. So we're having the screening now, it's extended. And we're having the pageant itself, the coronation on March. No um no tentative date yet. But it will run for a month. Um well first off, thank you very much for supporting me. Ever since I started pageantry, you were there and I hope you would continue and um be alongside me as I face a new chapter in my life as a national director of Miss Bikini Philippines. And um, please do support the pageant as well, Miss Bikini as well as Miss Philippines Earth. We're going half live, half virtual, so malaking aabangan yan. And um, yeah, please continue helping us uplift the advocacy and continue the legacy of our past queens.